शांति शांति meditation to experience spirituality is of course the most direct way it's the most not just common but generally effective way if you have a thousand people who want to experience spirituality and you have one cookie cutter answer to give all thousand of them absolutely meditation is the answer to give them but there's also thankfully because see the catch 22 of that is if you don't believe in spirituality it's hard to get people to meditate if i don't believe that there is something it's going to be really hard for you to convince me to spend 10 minutes 15 minutes half an hour of my time and the mind is also very very cunning very smart in its own way and if i sit down to meditate telling myself this whole thing is such a joke i'm just doing it to make my daughter happy um and you sit there and you close your eyes and you count the seconds so that you can know when 15 minutes is up or 20 minutes is up and you're doing your 1001 1002 1003 the whole time or you're trying to you know make a list and remember all the things you've got to do when you get into the office that day or whatever it may be you can prevent meditation from happening and fortunately the grace is there in such a way that even without meditation that grace is present and so there's there's many many other possibilities for people to at least experience enough that they might be open to meditation in order to sit for meditation people have to either be moving toward something spirituality god or they have to be moving away from something depression stress high blood pressure you know fortunately today we've got doctors saying ah you should meditate so we're actually entering a beautiful realm of people sitting down to meditate who may not necessarily be spiritually inclined but they're doing it because their cardiologist has told them to but it has to be either moving towards something so there is this thing of spirituality and I want to I want to have it so I'm going to meditate or I've got so much stress, so much depression, so much misery, whatever it may be. And I've been told that meditation is the answer. And so I'm going to try. But if I don't have one or the other, if I'm not actively moving towards something or actively aware of suffering from something. People are very busy these days. we've we've made ourselves very busy we've created a world of emergencies everything has become an emergency everything has become immediate part of it we've been you know brainwashed by our devices that are constantly binging and pinging and beeping and and so it's it's created a world in which it's got to be now immediately that bing means look at it that beep means do this and so to get people who aren't actively moving towards something or away from something to meditate is sometimes difficult but if we can get them either to accept the fact that they're suffering even if not in a, an experience of total misery but to accept that they've got some stress to accept that they've got you know any aspect in their life that they would like not to have 
desires, expectations, frustrations. There is a body of literature that meditation is the answer. And that body is growing. And so soon we're going to get to a point of being able to say, okay, no problem. But do you have high blood pressure? Do you have cholesterol? Do you have diabetes? Ah, meditation's for you. And that's, that's bringing us into a beautiful place of being able to touch people who didn't necessarily have a spiritual quest. But until that, we've got this beautiful grace that touches us in so many ways, in so many places, whether we know to sit and meditate or we don't know. Grace is always there.